and uh, welcome to the video. And before we join the main video, I thought I'd just show you the uh, app on my phone that I use to uh, show me where the sun is going to set. And it's called SunCalc. And you basically search the location you go into, set the date, and it shows you where the sun will set on that particular date. It also gives you the time. So it was 21.50 at uh, Grasmere on this particular night. And I decided on Grasmere because it was only 15 minutes away from where we were staying, so it was quite convenient. I planned to set up uh, for composition in this corner of the lake where there was a small beach area and where the lake runs into the uh, river Rothe. And uh, when we got there, and we, we gave ourselves about an hour before sunset, when we got there, uh, there's some rocks on the river Rothe and sitting on the rocks was something quite interesting. Interesting enough for me to put my 70 to 200 mm lens on and start to take pictures of uh, this grey heron that was just sitting nicely on these rocks, minding its own business, enjoying the sunset. And for the pixel peepers, here's uh, an enlargement of the image showing that, and the sun, the full sun was reflecting in the uh, actual eye of the heron and um, at that point I spent about 20 minutes uh, sort of taking various shots of the heron trying to get as close as I could without disturbing him because he was enjoying himself he was warming himself in that sun and uh, just enjoying life as, as a heron does now going back to sun calc what sun calc didn't tell me was at the end of uh, Grasmere Lake, there's a fell, and that fell uh, angles down towards the water. And of course, what Suncalc does, it tells you when the sun sets on the horizon, not when it sets on the fell. And that's where I miscalculated. So when I turned round, uh, I was in uh, shock to find that the sun was about to go down behind that fell. So let's join the video and uh, the moment of panic, because panic uh, did set in and I was struggling to get my muff on my microphone. Let me know when you're filming. You should yeah. have got all this set up, shouldn't you? Hi, and welcome to this video. And when you, s you hear uh, photographers saying they're running around like headless chickens at a location, this is me now. We've just arrived at Grasmere and we're coming for sunset and it's just about to go down. So I'm going to move really fast, faster than I want to. Uh, I thought I'd, I was giving myself plenty of time here, but it's been such a rush. And uh, I'm now in this, uh, this wild panic to, uh, to get a shot and uh, yeah, it is, uh, it's panic stations, so just bear with me while I uh, get focused and, and grab a shot. I didn't have timer on, this is how unplanned I am. A two second timer. And the sun's just going down behind the, the foul. Um, so I've only just got it in time. I'll take another shot. It's going to dip any minute, and we're going to left with, be left with blue hour. And I so wanted to. Uh, get a really nice sunset. Uh, and it's just disappearing. It's going. It's gone. Let me just move back here a bit really quickly. Helen's filming. Oh, if we come back here, then you can see more of the sun. We've not got uh, smooth water on Grasmere tonight. It's, there's a little bit of wind. It was really uh, windy earlier today, but that wind has now gone. And I'm really having to take compositions as quick as I can now, just to capture this scene. I'm going to have to crop this. I know I am. Uh, let me try and. Uh, I want to try and refocus again. God, 
I said it would be never been me running around like uh, a headless chicken at sunsets like this. And this is probably the first proper sunset that I've uh, ever done. The only other sunsets I've done have been in bars in Spain where I've sat there with my camera having a drink and taking a picture of the sunset. Um, but this was supposed to be a proper sunset and um, Do you know, you get ducks in the shot in the morning and now they've come at night as well. Look at that, ducks just swimming across. I bet they've been up all, all morning as well and they're there, there at night. If I move back there, because of the angle of the fowl, I can see the sun, it's still up here, but down here, hold on, let's get the tripod higher. Tripod higher, Jesus Christ and the wee little donkey. Oh, God, tripod legs stuck. Headless chicken, again. Quick setup. Back into live view. We're in live view, by the way. Um, got some lovely clouds up there, which I've just seen now. I need to refocus again. I'm literally just gonna fire away now the composition. The sun's gone. You can still see some light above the fell. And that is looking quite nice now because we've got some very nice wispy clouds above there, above where the sun set. Let's have a look at some of the pictures I've got so far.
Well, that's it. The light's gone now. And uh, that was my first sunset experience. And what an experience that was. I'll be much better prepared next time. And I'm, re I'm really energised to do more sunsets, actually. Uh, but you just look round now. If we just pan to the, the sky, the uh, colours in the sky have gone. All the clouds that have been hanging around have gone grey. Um, and we're just left with tints of orange uh, in the sky. So, that's it for this video. If you enjoyed watching this video, please think about subscribing to the channel. Give it a like, make a comment, um, and I'll see you later.